Hi, I'm Will Schaffroth with the National Park Foundation. And I'm joined today by Sean Gorman, Executive Chairman of the Board of L.L. Bean. Sean, thanks for agreeing to spend some time with me to discuss L.L. Bean's commitment to national parks and its partnership with the National Park Foundation. Thanks. It's, it's great to be here, Will. So, Sean, let's, let's give you a, a softball out of the gate here. Do you have a favorite national park or two? Since I am in the state of Maine, I, I have to go with Acadia National Park. And I do have two because our newest national park, Katahdin Woods and Water National Monument, is, is also a new favorite. So both exceptional places to visit. Fantastic. And, and have you had a favorite moment in those parks uh, at Acadia or Katahdin that you want to share too? Um, I probably would say at, at Acadia, um, taking my children on, uh, on their first kind of major hike and going up to uh, over the bubbles and coming down and looking down at Jordan Pond and then ending, ending a, a fairly short hike, but a good hike for a kid um, at the Jordan Pond house and having a, a pop over with them was a, a nice reward and I think kept them interested in going on outdoor adventures with their dad. Can you tell me a, a bit about L.L. Bean's connection to the national parks and, and, and as it relates to the National Park Foundation as well? Sure. Um, just it's such a natural, natural partnership. But the, you know, Bean has spent its time outfitting and, and equipping people to experience the outdoors, in, including all of our national parks. And, you know, our great, our founder, who's my great grandfather, Leon Leon would be really believed that spending time outdoors added quality and quantity to his life. He lived to 94 years old. Uh, I think that belief, that fundamental belief that spending time outdoors makes one happy is, is a guiding principle that we still adhere to. In 2012, we celebrated our 100th anniversary and we partnered with the National Park uh, Foundation on the Million Moment um, mission. And we donated a million dollars to support youth programming. We um, we're really excited to partner again with the National Park Foundation to connect um, the next generation to the great outdoors. Um, particularly in a time when I think we really need it. You've done a really nice thing for us at Old Bain to this, create this national park collection. You know, things that are boats and totes and t-shirts and patches and other items that that uh, that allows customers to, to have opportunity to have a little memorabilia of, and from, from their favorite places around the, around the country. And so I really, really wanted to express our gratitude for, for having you guys do that. Yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic, Will. And again, I think that provides an opportunity for, for us to, it's a win-win, right? We get this nice capsule collection uh, with a cause marketing angle um, right. in the National Park collection. And it, and it, as you said, there are boat and totes and t-shirts and patches and other items that promote the various national parks and our customers love it. And, um, and the benefits that that brings is, is more awareness to the parks and, and uh, hopefully more participation in, in visiting the national parks. You and I both spend a lot of our, we, we choose to spend time outdoors and it's something that I know refreshes me and probably refreshes you. But, but I think that that time in nature, that time around trees and on the beach and on the top of a mountain has a significant benefit for our psychology and our, our mental well-being. And Spending time outside um, for me has real restorative power. And I think intuitively we all know it does. People are just spending more and more time outdoors now. You can see it every day, just people walking, biking around neighborhoods. Um, but again, those, those digital demands of today, um, we're really finding that people are being overwhelmed. And, and we're really at Beam, we're working on um, some, some works with, with people who are studying the science of awe and really getting out and experiencing awe in the outdoors. And, and that's really when you're in the presence of something larger and bigger than yourself. It's really important for our well-being because it allows us to kind of shed our mental burdens. Um, it decreases anxiety. It shifts our focus from ourselves to those around us or, or nature. And it, it just, you know, generally for me, helps me be more patient and generous. And the list goes on. But yeah, we need it more than ever. And uh, national parks are a great way to uh, provide easy, accessible ways to experience these benefits. What well, no, a great synonym for awe is wonder. Yeah. And, and we have uh, landed in a similar place as an organization. We have a campaign now called Wonder Calls. And it's really about uh, 
you know, combining the word wonder with the word calls to, 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 to remind people that, that there's a calling out there for all of us to, to connect with nature, to connect with important places. Uh, and it's a way to, to connect with ourselves and our families and our loved ones as, at the same time and, and really share that, that bit of common ground we have as a species, really. I mean, I'm, I'm pleased to know that you guys are doing that. We're, we're kind of doing the same thing in a different way. The thing that I've come to appreciate in my time at the foundation is the, the relationships that, that we develop with, with people like you and companies like L.L. Bean is really around alignment. Share, share a bit more about um, your thoughts about the Be an Outsider campaign, because I think that's really an important thing for, for people to understand. It's really about making sure that the outdoors is accessible for everyone. It's really inclusive. In, in fact, we think being an outsider or being outside is is the most inclusive club that that there could be and i think when you partner with um, the national parks foundation on things like find your park or in quenchwood the park that campaign it's really um, aimed at helping people find access to the outdoors that they didn't know were near them and i think a lot of people sometimes think well the outdoors might be a little bit too big for me or a little too intimidating but Spending time in the national parks doesn't have to be about, um, you know, something as aspirational as, as climbing El Capitan at Yosemite. It can be about uh, doing a sledding adventure at, at Cuyahoga National Park or bird watching at Point Reyes National Seashore. Uh, there are just so many opportunities that exist and I, I would really encourage people to get out and find your parks and, and look at the National Parks Foundation site and see um, all, the, all that there is to offer and, and get outside. The thing about being an outsider and the science of awe and getting outside is, is that they don't have to be these grand adventures. You can, you can experience the outdoors in, in incredible ways. And a lot of people are intimidated because they think you do have to go to the Grand Canyon to, to get that experience. But the reality is uh, you can stand on your porch at night and, and check out the starry sky and have a moment of awe. And you can, you know, again, be in your backyard just watching nature and seeing birds fly around and, and just have an awesome experience. And that's, again, what the, the campaign is all about. Just a book, more of an open-ended question as we're kind of wrapping up here. Is, is there anything else on your mind about parks or your partnership uh, with the foundation that you'd like to share today? I love that our partnership exists and I love that it's existing right now because um, we are in a really challenging time through this pandemic. And I think that one of the silver linings from this pandemic is that people are reconnecting with the outdoors. It, it's really special for folks. And uh, there is no better time probably than now to go out and, and, and visit a national park because if you're looking for awe, you'll find it there. And uh, if you're looking for the restorative power of being outside, I would encourage you to do it. Reflecting back upon your, um, the notion of awe and the, the science of awe that you guys are thinking about and um, just, I'd just be curious if you'd be willing to describe a, a, a couple of times when you've experienced that, that, that feeling. One is, one is a big moment pre-pandemic. And it was, I was, um, it was the first time that I went to um, Grand Canyon. Hmm. And I had the opportunity to have somebody lead me to the edge with my eyes closed and then have me open them. And I always knew what the Grand Canyon was, but I had never experienced it. And that was a major moment of awe for me, which talk about feeling um, smaller than something. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good place to experience that if, you're, if you want that. Sean, thank you again for a great conversation. Really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. For more information on our work together, please visit nationalparks.org. Thanks for joining.